It was a battle of the ages. Masters women take on quarterfinals. We'll have a full recap of the top performances next. Hi, everybody. Welcome inside the Talking Elite Fitness Studios. I'm Sean Woodland with Tommy Marquez. Lauren Khalil will be here in just a second. Quarterfinals are officially behind us now as the age groups and the teams uh, check that off the list. We're going to be focusing on the Masters women. And before we get any farther, we just have to acknowledge the fact that there's a streak that is on the line right now. Might continue, but right now it's looking like it won't. An all-time streak. You got to give some props to Lynn Knappman. She is the age group Iron Woman. She has been at and competed at every single Masters CrossFit Games competition since its inception. That's 12 years. Right now in the 60-64 division, she's just two points and one spot out of moving on to semifinals. If ultimately this is the end of that streak, tip of the cap to her, but hope to see her move on. Let's take a look at your overall leaders as they stand right now for each age group in the Masters women's division. In the 35 to 39 year old division, Carolyn Klutz in her first year as a master, she leads that age group. Two Brazilian athletes are after that in the 40 to 44 and the 45 to 49 year old division. And Andrea Pinheiro is actually a doctor in nanoscience and nanotechnology. Kim Purdy and Taya Gebby right now tied in points in the 50 to 54 year old division, but Gebby gets the tie break. Talk about Susan Clark here in a second and Pauline Shasha, all top five finishes in the 65 plus division. But let's talk about Susan Clark in the 60 to 64 year old division. She had one finish that was lower than second in the quarterfinals, and she has five championships in two different age groups. Yeah, more importantly, Sean, five championships in five attempts at the game. She is a perfect five for five. And it's a bad news that she's here on the leaderboard this year because if she shows up to the CrossFit Games, she wins. And that has been true across her entire history. She went back to back in 14 and 15 and then has gone every odd year since. She won by 41 points. That's the largest margin of victory in quarterfinals of any female division. She's picking up right where she left off and she has the chance to again make history with her sixth title. It remains to be seen if Susan Clark will wind up back on the podium. But one thing we do know, as far as the women are concerned, there will be a lot of turnover on the podium when we get to Madison for the Masters division. Six of the seven age group divisions on the women's side will have at least one new face on the podium. Now, it is worth mentioning that in the 40 to 44 year old division, Kelly Friel is aging up, so she is still competing. In the 65 plus division, you'll have at least two new faces on the podium as Julie Holt and Pia Gund are not back uh, competing this year. So as we head now uh, into semifinals, what are some races that you're watching coming out of this past weekend? Well, one of the absentees from the podium last year was Marcy Wells in the 50 to 54 division. Well, if you take her out of that equation, the top four returning athletes from the games are currently the top four in the leaderboard in that division after quarterfinals. Now, remember, this was an extremely tight competition last year. Second through fifth were separated by just two event placements going into the finale. Two podium spots changed hands in that finale. And when the dust settled, there was a tiebreaker for third place overall. And now these athletes are picking up right back where they left off. There's effectively two close groupings, Gebby and Purdy tied in points, and then Brost and Connors just behind them. But that top four is going to be an exciting race to watch once we get through semifinals. Hopefully they all get through and we show back up to Madison. Let's bring in the third member of our crew here, Lauren Khalil, joining us. Lauren, who stood out to you in the women's master's divisions this past weekend? Thanks, Sean. One of the most notable athletes in the women's age group for me was Jen Ryan. She was in the 40 to 44 division. Now, while she currently sits second in that age group, that wasn't the most incredible thing for me. The most incredible thing is that she qualified for three different semifinals. In individual, she finished 55th overall in the North America West, second in her age group, the 40 to 44 division. And then she's actually an alternate for the CrossFit Invictus team that currently sits second. When I spoke with her, she said she does plan to do age group semifinals in a couple of weeks. And then we will see her at the individual semifinal in Pasadena. Just an incredible performance um, through various uh, quarterfinals for Jen. 
when we are talking about the most surprising athlete, when I'm looking at the leaderboard, um, it actually was Lori Clement. She finished 20th in the 35th to 39th division. And historically, she actually has placed higher. So this was more of an upset surprise for me. In the 2022 Open, she finished first overall in her age group. Um, it was kind of the first time she jumped into the scene. So we had been watching her closely, thinking maybe she's one of the next up and coming in that specific age group. Then and this year, she finished 30th. Keep in mind, though, that although last weekend she ranked 20th in her age group, she did also compete in team quarterfinals with CrossFit Kane. She's been competing with them since 2021. Now, they will advance to semifinals, giving her the option to also compete in person and online with her age group. Back to you in the studio. Thank you so much, Lauren. Let's take a look at some of the key dates that are coming up for the age group athletes as they move through the season. On April 17th, semifinal registration will open. One week later, workouts and floor plans are released and then scores for workouts one and two do April 29th. And then the following day, scores for workouts three and four. You can go to games.crossfit.com for more information on that. Congratulations to all the athletes who are moving ahead to semifinals and best of luck to you as you try to make your way to Madison, Wisconsin. We have a lot of content out for you right now on our YouTube channel. You can check out our new show, Death By, hosted by Lauren Khalil. You can also watch our age group qualifier men's recap from the quarterfinals. That's up uh, right now. We have a podcast available right now that we recorded on Tuesday. That is up. We'll have another on Friday, so you're going to want to check that out. And then an interview with Caitlin Van Zyl. That was done by Jeremy Austin. will be available for you on Sunday. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. For Lauren Khalil and Tommy Marquez, I'm Sean Woodland. We will talk to you next time.